everybody, it's Brock, and we got a brand new episode of All About. Hope y'all have been having a good week this week. I hope y'all checked out the most recent video I did on an update on my tank. It is showing off all the good corals and the fish swimming around in there. If you've already seen it, I appreciate y'all coming out to watch it. Today, we got a brand new episode of All About, and we're learning all about the Striped Blenny, or as my favorite name I've seen, the Striped Poison Fang Blenny. These guys are really cool, really nice fish to have in your tank. They're also really colorful and have a nice yellow coloration on them that's sometimes hard to find in a smaller fish. Prices on them, you'll usually spend about $40 to get one of these blennies. Tank size, I'd recommend a 30 gallon. These are also really good fish for nano tanks. A lot of people like to put them in those small coral reef nano tanks. They do great in there. Hair level, I would say very easy. I'd usually recommend this one for my beginners that are looking for something unique, something with some good color on it, and something that's not going to get huge. This is a great beginner fish, and he's also very hardy, so he's good at eating whenever he's in the tank, and he's also going to be very well on adjusting to the new environment. So he's great if you're new to the hobby. It's a really good one to pick out. Temper, I would say semi-aggressive. Blennies can be territorial over the caves they find in the tank that they like. They can also be territorial towards other blennies, so just beware. Reef safe, yes, definitely a great reef fish to have. They're not going to mess with any of your corals, so you do not have to worry about anything there. Temperature, you want to keep it 72 to 78, DKH 8 to 12, pH 8.1 to 8.4, and your salinity 1.020 to 1.025. All that is normal. Max size, you can see them getting about 5 inches by the end of their lifespan. Colors on them, which is what people really like. They have real dominant black and white stripes going all the way down their body. But they also have this really bright yellow head that really makes them spark in the tank. They almost look like one of those poison frogs out in the rainforest. Diet, they are an omnivore, so make sure you're feeding them. Kind of a variety of things. He'll eat flakes and pellets, of course, but you also want to get some meaty food in there for him. You want to feed him some mysis, some brine shrimp, any of those little frozen cubes you can get. Thaw them out in a little container, and you can feed him on those throughout the week as well. That'll keep good protein in them, keep those colors looking good, and also keep them just overall a lot healthier. Origin, so nowadays they are captive bred. Originally, they are from Indonesia and those surrounding islands. Compatibility, just ask. Pairs, I've always done great in the tank when introduced at the same time. We have noticed some aggression towards fish of the same color and size. So a lot of times we've seen people that already have like a yellow blenny in their tank and they put one of these in there. They have noticed some territorial aggression going on after adding them in there. So be cautious of that. Make sure you don't have anything that looks very similar to this guy, or you might run into a problem with them fighting. Venomous, so yes, they are actually a venomous fish, and it's because of their fangs. These fangs are usually just used as a defense when being bothered by other fish that are attacking them. They'll use those fangs. Most of the times, it's just used to stun the fish. They're not going to latch onto you like a snake would. The fangs run along their lower jaw. You shouldn't have to worry about this guy really coming after you in the tank. You just want to be cautious that you do not run into him on accident. So find out where he is in the tank before just diving your hand in there. Because if you start getting near his cave and shoving your hand down in there, that's when you might see him use those fangs on you. Now it's nothing life-threatening, but it will definitely feel like a good strong bee sting and nobody wants that. Also, whenever you're handling them in the bags and in the nets, and putting them in the new tank, definitely be cautious there because them being stressed out will definitely make them want to use those fangs. Now for the tank, make sure you just have plenty of live rock to hide in and hunt for small crustaceans around the tank. They like to scan the rocks constantly throughout the day, and then they'll go back up and swim out in the open, and then kind of go back in and start scanning again for food. They tend to swim out in the open, which is unique for most blennies. Most of the time, they're just perched up on a rock sitting still. But this guy loves to be out and about, swimming fast, past, up and through the caves. And then usually, you'll start to see as they're in your tank longer, they'll pick a specific cave on one side of the tank and kind of hide out there, and that'll kind of be its home. But most of the time, they're out and about, swimming around. Another really important thing when keeping this blenny and keeping other blennies in general 
you need to have a tank lid because these guys are bad about jumping. Especially in a new tank, first couple of months, you can definitely expect them to try to find a little escape route jumping out of the tank. So make sure you got a nice tank lid on top, and little glass lids that you can put down. Also, there's some little plastic you can get to put around your filters where those little open gaps are. Make sure you have everything covered before putting this guy in there because I can promise you he can find that little bitty hole. Now, other than that, that's pretty much everything you need to know about taking care of the striped blinny. If you do have any additional questions or want to know if he's good in your tank, please leave a comment down below. I'd love to help y'all out. Just key points to take away. He's a great beginner fish if you're looking for something new and unique in your tank. He is reef safe. And just remember, he is a venomous fish. So just be careful when handling him. And be cautious whenever you're cleaning your tank. As long as you know where he is, usually you can stay away from him so you do not have to worry about actually getting bit by him. Hope you all have a wonderful day. Make sure to like and subscribe. We just hit the big 12K. That's amazing. I appreciate y'all so much. And I hope y'all have a good rest of your week. Hey everybody, it's Brock, and today's video is sponsored by Dream Team Forever. Make sure to check out our website as we just released the first ever All About Tees that feature 30 fish and inverts from the series. Click the link in the description to get some for you and your family.